So I guess we are all very happy that we continue to see the attempts of Bitcoin price going above $4,100 on Coinbase and also seeing those higher highs and higher lows and even the fact that the price bounced off of this 50 hours moving average with a huge volume and also returned back really fast so we see some support some activity of the bulls and today I would like to talk about one more interesting indicator which again supports the fact that we are most likely seeing the reversal of the trend for example as you may remember from the yesterday's video we were looking at the hacking ashy representation of the total capitalization of the crypto market and it was actually showing the clear sign of the reversal so this is bitcoin price right but actually if you look at the total capitalization of altcoin okay let's switch to the total capitalization so you'll see it more clearly we have this green dodgy and like this wedge and the volume and so on so it's very interesting sign of the possible reversal of the trend but now if we, even if we look at the bitcoin price then we will see that actually if bitcoin will make a little bit more move during this couple of days we will still able to see this dodgy becoming green and it will be also a very bullish sign the same as we would have with total capitalization of the crypto market but today i was going to mention different thing and this is the TSI, True Strength Index, and it's a little bit complicated how to calculate it. So first you, you need to have a ratio of double smooth PC and double smooth absolute PC. So double smooth PC is the price change, which is basically the current closed price minus prior closed price, and it's smoothed by 25 period AMA and the result is also smoothed by 13 period AMA and the same thing you would have with the double smooth absolute PC which is the, the, the difference that the absolute PC is absolute value of the difference between the current price and prior price so the ratio multiplied by 100 will give you the indicator TSI which in principle shows you the momentum of the price where the trend is bullish and where the trend is bearish so basically if we have this indicator above zero line then it is the bullish trend and if, if it is below zero line then it is bearish trend also we have two lines blue one is the TSI itself and red one is the EMA smoothed TSI so when you have the crossover when the blue line intersects red line from the top then it is the change of the trend from bullish to bearish and vice versa so first thing of course is that recently basically three weeks ago we saw this intersection happening and it is a bullish intersection basically it continued to evolve because of the few green candles over here and in fact this trend is really really strong if you remember a few videos ago I was saying that somewhere around here maybe it was a chance that the price will go lower for the correction and you see this sort of a doji indicated that it indeed may happen however it did not happen and we went even higher but now the trend is so smooth so we would expect a breakout of this trend downwards maybe actually the surge by a few hundreds of dollars will precede that but who knows now we actually in a very very important point and like if the price will go a couple of hundred dollars higher then everybody will agree that there is a bullish trend very strong and everybody will buy so we'll have uh, following people will probably price will go even higher and if you look at the monthly chart then you would see that these two green candles are pretty much similar to red candles and it really looks like a symmetrical reflection of the previous drop so technically if the price will go above that it will be a signal for the growth and a lot of people will buy so we may even have something like this and since the level of six thousand dollars is very very strong we may actually have a, a pullback and maybe even draw some something like this which is like cup and handle formation and if it will be so and we will actually manage to go above this line then this pattern will lead us to the very bullish territory i wouldn't even dare to call the numbers but it is like over optimistic scenario because technically we would better to go in this territory for a while maybe until the end of the year and then start to grow eventually something like that but you know it's crypto everything could happen as usual guys not financial advice but you see 
even such crazy scenarios are possible. So, but what we are seeing at TSI is that, especially on the weekly time frame, of course you would need to tune the settings, but even on a weekly time frame, you could see that in the previous bear market, when we had the final drop in January 2015, what we saw is that before that, we had a very bearish behavior of TSI, basically from the top of the price, going lower just one attempt to have a crossover but it didn't work out and then eventually the TSI was in the territory below zero which is very bearish and surprisingly the price of Bitcoin at the bottom in January 15th was just month before the TSI showed the minimum point around here in February and then very soon after that we saw this intersection here and then it followed by the bullish behavior of the TSI eventually it intersect the, the zero level and we went to a bullish territory so what we see now is very very similar in fact the low of the TSI was in January and the lowest point of the price was in December so just one month difference between the minimum of the price and the minimum of TSI and also if you if you look at the general patterns of TSI you would see that there is a bearish pattern pattern here an attempt to break and then it went lower sort of one more wave here again bearish pattern try to attempt an attempt to break no went lower in fact there was an attempt for the reversal even here but there was no intersection so here as well you may say that this was one of those attempts but we actually succeeded it now and now we have this cross of course all of that is very arbitrary and relative and so on but still general behavior is very very similar moreover looking at the logarithmic time scale you will see that this intersection of the 100 weeks and 200 weeks moving averages the same as here was after the bottom of course this is sort of a bearish crossover but on such time scale it actually doesn't make much sense but the timing is very important and at the same time for the daily time frame you would see that now we have the intersection of 1500 days moving averages and the price is actually higher than this than both of those uh, moving averages and we may even have the intersection of those moving averages with 200 days moving average somewhere like may maybe in summer and that would be even stronger bullish signal moreover here in 2015 we had not exactly the same but the price behavior was actually less bullish we saw many intersections of 1500 days moving average and this area is actually more flattened out than in our case so in the current stage it's much more bullish of course we may have more fluctuations over the next few months it's really possible but at the moment things are not that bad at all moreover you see again TSI is at the area above zero which technically indicates the presence of the rising trend and of course guys well first of all everything which I say is my personal opinion not financial advice but what I was going to mention in general in this video is that we have very similar behavior of many indicators and this is another example of such behavior and basically nothing new we see history tends to repeat itself not necessarily it will repeat itself but it is definitely very interesting to observe how things will evolve in the next weeks and months 2019 is definitely much more interesting than the previous year at least we have much better quality of our hopium and that is it for today i hope it was useful thank you for watching